Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm DeBerg, and there's going to be a quick video on Drew Verhagen, who hasn't pitched in the bigs but has had a solid minor league career, uh, getting signed for two years uh, by the St. Louis Cardinals, which I guess is not really the biggest surprise. Uh, he got two years, 5.5, uh, was pitching overseas, um, <clears throat> as far as I know, and then now is going to have a chance to come back and have success. He's a guy that did feature five pitches, but more so four pitches, where a guy that I did a video on earlier, Joe Biagini, while talking about Toronto, he featured five with decent percentages. Verhagen's change of his like, was 0.6% when he last left. The MLB with his sinker being the main pitch, the slider being the second, and then the curveball with him mixing in his four-seam fastball. I think this is a guy, it makes sense, he had to pitch the big for a couple of years, he's been pitching overseas, I believe in Nippon in the Japanese League, um, and he's going to get a chance and come back over here, have a chance to get his sinker slider curveball combination going again at the big league level, because it hasn't been sexy for him at the big league level, he has an above career 5 ERA, and just uh, forget stats, because those are those are the first thing, those are just a guideline where the eyesight's the key, when you just watched him pitch, it was a tale of two cities from his minor league time, where he looked to seem more comfortable at controlling the zone, to then get into the majors, where he was kind of all over the place, like the Antonio Bastardos of the world, um, even a guy uh, like a Chapman, when he first started his career, that was all over the place, where Verhagen never zoned it in, or like a Brandon Mora when he started his career, who was all over the place, where Verhagen never zoned it in at the MLB level. <clears throat> um, he's a guy that was able to zone it in at the minor league level. He obviously was able to zone it in overseas. Now it's about seeing if Drew Verhagen can come back here. He got offered a good deal by the Cardinals because he was able to try to get some stuff working over in Japan, and now it's about if he can get it working again here in the big leagues. The Cardinals believe so, because they gave him two years for 5.5, where he hasn't even been able to figure it out um, yet at the big league level over here in North America. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do. The Cardinals are a team that are very good at using, one, their eyesight, and two, the, the pitching analytics, the right way to be able to know from watching a guy how to implement the analytics correctly and not just go solely off of the analytics and screw them up like the Phillies have done for years, where then they put him in the right spot to succeed, where I think a good organization for him to go to in conclusion is also the St. Louis Cardinals, who do very good wonders with certain pitchers, especially when it comes to putting them in the best spots to succeed. So Drew Verhagen, two years of $5.5 million with the St. Louis Cardinals after having success overseas, gets another shot in the MLB. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy your night.